YouTube? YouTube! I'm back. Yeah, the sense of mission, very, very important. Focus on your sense of mission. On developing your inner purpose. With finding after your outer purpose, but be flexible. Be flexible on your journey. You know, your goals might change. Your, uh, as long as your inner purpose don't change. To awaken to the greatest version of yourself. All the rest will follow outside of yourself. It's a reflection of your inner state anyway. So whatever you embody, you uh, go after, you embody fully. You become the fullest of the story at what you do. The outer purpose will fall, I think, with the... Your inner purpose, if you stay true, if you stay true to your inner purpose, if you don't uh, divert, you know, which is awaken to your greater purpose, is not doing uh, evil uh, rituals. No? Like it's realigning, recalibrating, rebalancing, re. Uh... Sorry. Just hate water, man. Hey, come here, I bring my little stuff, bring my my tea, I have my tea, my watermelon, all my stuff and a great sunshine, so I cannot go wrong. Yeah, I love those vibes, you know, I don't need much in life to be, uh, to be uplifted. Le. I need nature, my chilling spot, my GoPro, so I can speak, but I would speak anyway, I think I would speak to myself. I think I would end up speaking to myself. Because it's such a great vibe, you know, it's the best uh, conversation I ever had in my life. I repeat it often. But that's the purpose of coming here too, is repeating stuff so it gets uh, embedded into our consciousness. No? That's how they brainwash us. By constantly repeating nonsense. I adopted it. I never fell for it. No? I was just trusting them. I think we trust them blindly. And, just don't question anything the moment you start questioning nice view here I like to hear the sound of the water behind me very peaceful very peaceful environment great vibe and people are more and more attracted to come and see me here they must see me uh, often i'm always here no? and now they come forward more and more it seems like uh, the the universal mind is that's what i'm saying it's a uh, you know it's not so hard these days to envision a big massive change and happening in a not too long of a time because i think our mind is being prepared for that awakening you know the whole universal mind is very much being prepared for that awakening through a uh, different uh, manifestation but I think in general, we are, uh, our minds have lots of power. But I think that's what's frightening us too, is to see how powerful we are. That That's what most people are scared too, and I was scared too. Uh, you know, I, when I realized that I was very, very powerful because of the lies that they have told me and manipulate me with nonsense, I'm like, whoa. What is that? What is that power? That's it. Then I suddenly uh, started to make videos on YouTube. It never stopped. It never stopped. I'm uh, picking up more and more momentum as the as the journey goes on. You know, that's what it is too. You're gonna pick up momentum, speed, quality, quantity, all that. But take action. Take massive action in the direction of what you want to do, day in, day out very important it's an everyday thing it's not just a fleeting idea passing by in your mind it's an everyday thing focus on your stuff keep your vibes very focused on the now <clears throat> and you can transcend from that point for sure you can access the future too through the now you can access the future if you cherish every single moment you have and you treat it as the most sacred things you then access right there the future too because you are designing your life in every single moment that you are experiencing it so it's a great it's a higher vibe it's a higher vibe than a, it's a different vibe but takes work takes work on yourself it takes dedication 
not uh, you don't need to be obsessed you just need to be dedicated to a journey dedicated to a mission and i think there's lots of mission you can uh, find <laughs> i found my mission but i think in uh, in the end it's all the same mission is to elevate humanity to uh, become conscious to become conscious of the great gift that we have that is life first of all to become conscious of our power of all the divine stuff but we are very much unconscious now as a whole and uh, i don't know we're not questioning too much so as long as we remain in that state but people are uh, starting to i don't know more and more people are coming out of the ideas that we've been given and they're just seeking a different uh, different horizon but also we assume a lot we assume a lot with the uh, i'm just gonna change my spot we assume a lot that what they tell us is the is the truth you know we uh sorry we trust them blindly this is our big big problem trusting them blindly and believing everything they say you know, without questioning that's our biggest that's where we are less no? like it's not hard to bring back people in touch with the with who they are i think it's just by like, get them to question reality and to question more and more things you know, by questioning questioning constantly questioning and not only questioning but i don't know feeling it also you must feel it you know the truth is something that you feel there's less bugs here there's all kinds of little bugs there. yeah and here i prefer there because i can walk along the the rock there i can do a bigger uh, take a bigger walk and it's good for my knee also that i move there. I can't move too too long but at least I can move a little bit and it's very good but there's always worse than you in life you can complain about your own situation your own misery your own pain but there's always uh, we all have stories there and the worst is 80 percent don't care and 20 percent are glad it happened to you so we all have stories it's just to I don't know me I think we should inspire people with our stories instead of uh, instead of complaining non-stop no? instead of complaining non-stop we should inspire people with our stories and uh, try to elevate try to elevate each other to a higher vibration because stories we all have stories you have stories I have stories I have stories to uh, we would be here all winter stuff that happened to me and that i overcome and uh, you know it's always like that though. you're gonna have things in life you think you're uh, trapped in sorrow and uh, but in reality there's always a way out there's always a way to uh, where there's a will there's a way I always found my way in life by uh, yeah. park myself here. It's a bit better. Got my thermos. Yeah, stories, stories. We all have stories for sure. Oh, look. I like the clouds too. Clouds are beautiful i love it i love everything everything is so divine here me i give thanks for life you know i we're there the worst is we're not gonna be here forever that's the worst and some people are completely missing the point of life the point of being alive like completely uh unfocused and i don't know but there's something there's a there is hope when i hear the truth being spoken gives me hope for sure and there's uh, people voices resonating all over so we're gonna keep on pushing people he's out